Welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring two unsung heroes of regional aviation, the Embraer ERJ-135 and ERJ-140. Compact, efficient, and built for performance, these aircraft have connected cities and communities for over two decades. Let's take a closer look at what makes them so valuable. The ERJ-135 and ERJ-140 belong to Embraer's regional jet family, designed in Brazil and launched in the 1990s. They were created to offer the speed and comfort of a jet on routes where larger aircraft simply don't make economic sense. Built on the same platform as the larger ERJ-145, both jets share many components, making them ideal for fleet consistency and easy pilot transitions. The ERJ-135 is the smallest jet in the family. It typically seats 37 passengers, arranged in a one-two cabin layout, giving every passenger either an aisle or a window seat. Powered by two Rolls-Royce AE3007 engines, the ERJ-135 cruises efficiently at high altitudes, with a range of about 1,750 nautical miles. Its size and agility make it ideal for low-demand routes, executive transport, or even government operations. It's proof that smaller aircraft can deliver big when it comes to performance and versatility. Next, the ERJ-140, a slightly longer jet designed to meet specific airline requirements, especially in the US. It seats 44 passengers, just seven more than the ERJ-135, but those seven seats made all the difference for scope clause agreements, which limit the size of aircraft operated by regional carriers on behalf of major airlines. The ERJ-140 helped airlines like American Eagle offer more seats per flight while staying compliant with pilot union rules. Its range is a bit shorter than the ERJ-135s, but it's still more than capable for most regional missions. The ERJ-135 is about 26 0.3 meters long. The ERJ-140 about 28.4 meters. ERJ-135 seats 37. ERJ-140 seats 44. The 135 has a slight edge in range. The 140 has a slight edge in revenue potential. Both share the same cockpit design and engine type, so pilots can switch between the two easily. And from a maintenance perspective, they're nearly identical. Even in today's world of next-gen regional jets like the E-Jet E2 series or the Airbus A220, the ERJ-135 and ERJ-140 still have a place. They continue to serve small airports with short runways, charter and corporate operators, military and government agencies, and airlines flying thin routes where larger jets aren't economical. They're dependable, efficient, and proven. So whether you're flying into a small town or chartering a private route, the ERJ-135 and ERJ-140 are ready for the job. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, hit that like button. Subscribe for more content on aircraft, airline ops, and all things aviation. And if you've ever flown on one of these jets, drop your story in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Until next time, this is your captain behind the screen signing off. Stay curious and stay airborne.